Benjamin Franklin reminded his colleagues at the Constitutional Convention to begin by bowing their heads in prayer. Religious liberty is enshrined in the very First Amendment of the Bill of Rights. And we all pledge allegiance to very, very beautifully, one nation under God. This is America's heritage, a country that never forgets that we are all, all, every one of us, made by the same God in heaven. But I pledge that in a Trump administration, our nation's religious heritage would be cherished, protected, and defended like you have never seen before. That's what's happening. To protect religious liberty, including protecting groups like this one, I signed a new executive action in a beautiful ceremony at the White House on our National Day of Prayer, which day we made official. <laughs> Among many historic steps, the executive order followed through on one of my most important campaign promises to so many of you, to prevent the horrendous Johnson Amendment from interfering with your First Amendment rights. We will not allow government workers to censor sermons or target our pastors, our ministers, our rabbis. These are the people we want to hear from. And they're not going to be silenced any longer. Just last week, based on this executive action, the Department of Justice issued a new guidance to all federal agencies to ensure that no religious group is ever targeted under my administration. Won't happen.